Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, Europol, another international organization or uh, law enforcement agency uh, that fights against serious international crimes. So let's start. Okay, here you can see the flag. Uh, having uh, yellow stars over it and the uh, European Union terrorism situation uh, trend report 2021 the latest report on by European Union okay uh, starting from the history of Europol uh, basically uh, Europol has its origin in Trevi uh, it's a forum for international uh, security internal security of that particular countries which are the members of Europol uh, they were like uh, they have the cooperation among its EEC interior and justice ministers uh, which were created in 1975 and active until the Maastricht Treaty that came uh, into the fact in 1993 uh, we will discuss later Maastricht Treaty okay now uh, here, the Germany with its federal organization of police forces had long been in favor of a supranational police organization at EC level. It tabled a surprise proposal to establish a European police office to the European Council meeting in Luxembourg in uh, June 1991. By that, December, the Intergovernmental Conference was coming to an end and the member states had pledged themselves to establishing Europol through Article K.1 of the Maastricht Treaty. Europol was given the modest role of establishing a union-wide system for exchanging information among its EU police affairs. It means uh, Europol uh, has its origin uh, from Trevi and uh, it was uh, treatly affected or uh, it was not active until the Maastricht Treaty, which was signed uh, in 1993. Uh, Germany, with its uh, federal organization of police forces, had long been in favor of the supranational police organization. It's a very interesting topic of supranational uh, alliances, which we'll discuss in international relations, inshallah okay and uh, next the european police office to the european council meeting uh, which was held in the luxembourg in uh, june 1991 according to article k1.1 of the maastricht treaty uh, europol has been establishing uh, through uh, this uh, article and it was the modest role of establishing union-wide system for exchanging uh, different types of information among the european union police forces as it is the law enforcement agency which can fight against the serious international crime uh, such as terrorism, money laundering, cyber crime, human trafficking and drug trafficking. Okay, now uh, here the Maastricht Treaty is the most important topic. So uh, delays in ratifying the Maastricht Treaty led to Travi ministers agreeing a ministerial agreement on the Europol Drugs Unit in June 1993. This intergovernmental agreement outside of EU law led to the establishment of a small team which was headed by Jürgen Storbeck, a senior German police officer who initially operated from some temporary cabins in a Strasbourg suburb uh, which was uh, shared with personnel of the Shenzhen uh, information system while more permanent arrangements were made okay according to this uh, master treaty which is the most important uh, treaty signed in 1993 uh, which was led to the Trevi ministers having the agreement between ministerial agreement of the European drugs unit it was the time uh, June 1993 okay further we can say that uh, outside of the EU law led to the establishment of small team uh, that small team was headed by Jürgen Starbeck which was the senior German police officer at that time so once the Maastricht Treaty had uh, come into the fact the slow process of negotiating and ratifying a Europol convention began in the meantime the Europol drugs unit EDU had its power extending twice in March 1995 and 
again in December 1996 that to include a range of trafficking offenses it's a remit. During this period, information among us officers could only be exchanged bilaterally uh, with a central databases to be established once the Europol Convention was ratified. The Europol Convention finally came into effect in October 1998 after ratification by all 15 EU national parliaments through some outstanding legal issues, primarily data protection supervision and judicial supervision, ensured it could not firmly take up duties until July 1999. Okay, uh, here the term uh, Maastricht Treaty again repeated. So, what uh, was the uh, purpose or uh, why Maastricht Treaty is so important? Basically, Maastricht Treaty established the European Union. Uh, paying the way for the euro and created EU citizenship in this but and that particular time it was the time of 1st November 1993 uh, when overall the treaty had gone very uh, good for the sign for the signed party okay uh, it was signed in 7th of February 19 1992 okay okay so uh, I hope so. Uh, Maastricht Treaty will be clear to you all. Okay, uh, here the European Convention was suppressed by the Council decision of 6 April 2009, establishing the European Police Office, Europol, converting Europol into a formal EU agency as well as increasing some of its power. Sorry, it was the pr pronunciation like uh, super stated. Okay, the European Parliament was given more control over Europol by the Council decision as well. The establishment of Europol was agreed to in the 1992 Maastricht Treaty, officially known as the Treaty on European Union (TEU), that came into effect in November 93. Further, we can say that the agency started limited operations on 3 January 1994 as the Europol Drugs Unit (EDU). The Europol Convention was signed on 26th of July 1995 and came into force in October 1998 after being ratified by all the member states. Further, we can say that Europol commenced its full activities on 1st of July 1999. Europol came under the Europol EU competence with the Lisbon Treaty and the convention was replaced by a council decision in 2009. It was reformed as a full EU agency on 1st of January 2010. This gives Europol increased powers to collect criminal information and European Parliament more control over Europol activities and budget. Now, Europol is the European Union law enforcement organization that handles criminal intelligence as we talked about what is the Europol and we have discussed that it's the European Union law enforcement organization which helps uh, in the deterrence of the crimes such as terrorism etc okay its mission is to assist the law enforcement authorities of member states in the fight against serious forms of organized crime europol in close cooperation with member states candidate country and other law enforcement bodies which are actively involved in the fight against organized crime while maintaining will set maintaining full respect for individual integrity and human rights the Europol Convention states that Europol shall establish and maintain a computerized system to allow the input, assess, and anal analysis of data. The Convention also provides the legal framework for the management of this system, in particular as regards data protection, confidentiality, and external supervision. In short, we can say that European Europol is the European Union law enforcement organization that handles the criminal investigation, sorry, criminal intelligence, and uh, further we can say that it's having the mental capability or uh, 
Its mission is to assist the law enforcement authorities of member states in the fight against serious forms of organized crime. Further, we can say that uh, Europol, in close cooperation with the other member states, so uh, we can say that it has to respect, it gives full respect for individual integrity and human rights. It talked about the human rights. The Europol Convention states that Europol shall establish and maintain a computerized system to allow the input assess and analysis of data. So, the Europol computerized system has three principal components. Uh, what are that? They are the an information system, an analysis system, and index system. Sorry, uh, one point is okay. Uh, and in addition to the above systems aimed at processing personal data, Europol is developing and managing many more information products and services, either as part of or in support of its core business. In order to fight international organized crime effectively, Europol cooperates with a number of third countries and organizations. Okay, so Europol computerized system comprised of three main principles. Uh, they are an information system, analysis system, and index system. Uh, in addition to the above system, we aimed at uh, processing personal data. And uh, Europol is developing and managing many more information products and services. So, on the basis of agreement concluded in accordance with the Europol Convention, particularly close cooperation exists within a number of third countries and organizations as follows in alphabetical order okay now let's talk about the uh, number of third countries and organizations they are albania australia bosnia and herzegovina canada sipol colombia croatia eurojust european central bank european commission european monitoring center for drugs and drug addiction former yugoslav republic of macedonia frontex island interpol moldova norway olaf russian federation switzerland sitken turkey united nations office on drugs and crime usa world custom organizations okay hope so this all were really clear to you all now let's move on Europol, uh, basically Europol is the European Union law enforcement agency as we talked before whose main goal is to help achieve a safer, safer Europe for the benefit of all EU citizens. Further, we do this by assisting the European Union member states in their fight against serious international crime and terrorism. Large uh, scale criminal and terrorist networks pose a significant threat to the internal security of the EU, and so the biggest security threats come from terrorism money laundering, organized fraud, counterfeiting on the euro currency, etc. So, but new dangers are also accumulating in the form of cybercrime, trafficking in human beings, and other modern day threats. This is a multi billion euro business quick to adopt a new opportunity and resilient measures now uh, at the last we will discuss about the headquarter uh, europol headquarters in the hage the netherlands are uh, we can say that working closely with the law enforcement agencies in the 28 eu member states and in other non-EU partner states and organizational organizations more than 900 900 staff 185 Europol liaison officer ELO around 100 criminal analysts over 18,000 cross-border investigations such as sports center for law enforcement and uh, further it's a hub for criminal information and organization and one of the largest concentration concentrations of analytical capability in the EU produces regular assessments assessments center central central platform for law enforcement experts sorry center central platform for law enforcement experts from the European Union countries so uh, it is concluded that 
Europol headquarters in The Hague, the Netherlands, and it has working closely with law enforcement agencies. Uh, and there are 28 EU member states and other non EU partner states and organizations. Quietly, more than 900 staff, 185 European Europol licensed officers, around 100 criminal analysts. Hope so. This all will be clear to you all. See you in the next class. Fiamanilla and Allah Hafiz.